Try it. We're not going to have this conversation unless you say it. Samuel L. Jackson, the Hollywood legend we all know and love, just dropped a bombshell that could tear apart Diddy's carefully constructed world. A video, allegedly leaked by Jackson himself, shows Diddy's infamous parties, and Steve Harvey is right in the middle of it. A Hollywood icon turned whistleblower? Samuel L. Jackson. There's no mistaking that voice or that attitude. He's been a Hollywood powerhouse for decades, rising to stardom later in life and turning into a household name by the time he hit 40. Known for his iconic roles in films like Pulp Fiction, Django Unchained, and the Avengers franchise, Jackson has built a career on his bold, no-nonsense characters. But as much as people love him for his on-screen presence, it's his off-screen persona that really makes waves. Samuel L. Jackson is unapologetically outspoken, whether it's about politics, race, or family values. And now, he's allegedly found himself in the middle of one of Hollywood's juiciest scandals. The buzz? He supposedly leaked a video of Diddy's wild parties, and in a twist that no one saw coming, Steve Harvey's name is all over it. So why would someone like Samuel L. Jackson, who seems to have it all under control, get involved in a messy scandal like this? There are a few angles to consider, and a lot of it comes down to his strong views on family, integrity, and responsibility. Samuel L. Jackson didn't have an easy road to success. He was almost 40 when his career really took off. Unlike many celebrities who find fame in their 20s, Jackson had to work hard, overcome his own battles with addiction, and fight for a place in Hollywood. But if there's one thing Jackson has been consistent about, it's his commitment to family and fatherhood. He's been married to Latanya Richardson Jackson for over 40 years, something almost unheard of in Hollywood. And together, they've raised their daughter, Zoe Jackson, in a way that's kept her out of the limelight. Zoe has found success as a producer, staying behind the camera and out of the kind of public chaos that often surrounds celebrity kids. Jackson and LaTanya have both spoken about the importance of keeping their family unit strong, and Jackson has often been praised for how he's managed to maintain stability in such a high-pressure industry. With all that in mind, you can start to see why Jackson might feel compelled to step in when it comes to Steve Harvey and his daughter Lori Harvey. The situation allegedly centers around Lori's controversial relationship with Diddy, one that sparked headlines because of the significant age difference between them. Lori was 22 at the time, while Diddy was nearly 50. The public couldn't stop talking about it, especially when rumors surfaced that Lori might have been romantically involved with both Diddy and his son, Justin Combs. Talk about messy. But what really caught people's attention was the fact that Steve Harvey seemed to be fine with it all, or at least didn't publicly object. Steve even vacationed with Diddy, Lori, and his wife Marjorie during the height of the dating rumors. For a guy who built his brand on family values, that didn't sit right with a lot of people, including, allegedly, Samuel L. Jackson. Jackson, being the straight shooter he is, reportedly had some harsh words for Steve Harvey about the way he handled his daughter's relationship. And this is where things get personal. Samuel L. Jackson has spoken at length about the importance of strong family bonds, especially within the African-American community. He's been vocal about the need for black families to stay together, for fathers to be present, and for parents to raise their children with a sense of responsibility and integrity. In multiple interviews, Jackson has pointed out how he didn't have a father growing up and how that shaped his determination to be a hands-on, present father for Zoe. This commitment to family and parenting is likely what fuels his alleged criticism of Steve Harvey. For Jackson, the idea that Steve could sit back and allow his daughter to get involved with someone like Diddy, who's been the subject of numerous controversies and allegations, would be unacceptable. Diddy's past is full of questionable behavior, from accusations of abuse by former partners to wild stories about his notorious parties, the very parties where this scandal supposedly began. Jackson, with his strong stance on family values, might see Steve's actions, or lack of them, as a failure to protect his daughter from potentially harmful relationships. 
In this context, it's not hard to see why Samuel L. Jackson would go so far as to allegedly leak this bombshell video. For him, it could be more than just exposing a scandal. It might feel like calling out a father who didn't do enough to safeguard his child. And considering how Jackson has raised his own daughter away from the chaos of Hollywood, the contrast between his approach and Steve Harvey's could be glaring to him. Throughout his career, Jackson has never been one to bite his tongue. He's called out everyone from politicians to fellow actors when he feels they've crossed a line, and he's done it with a kind of blunt honesty that's earned him both respect and fear in the industry. If these rumors are true, it seems like Steve Harvey might be the latest in a long line of people who've found themselves on the receiving end of Jackson's critiques. And given how deep this scandal runs, touching on issues of family, celebrity, power, and loyalty, it's no wonder that it's turned into one of the most talked about stories in Hollywood right now. Diddy's and Steve Harvey's alleged involvement. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs or Puff Daddy, has long been rumored to throw these extravagant, no-holds-barred events that take place behind closed doors. These aren't your typical celebrity house parties where people sip champagne and gossip. These are said to involve many questionable things. The term f itself gives you a pretty good idea of the vibe. It's been whispered about in entertainment circles for years. Big-name celebrities, models, and even high-profile executives allegedly gather for nights that are anything but innocent. The parties are rumored to be filled with debauchery, alcohol flowing like water, illicit items being passed around like candy, and escapades that sound more like scenes out of an adult movie than a high-society gathering. The power dynamics in these spaces are also intense, with some partygoers reportedly engaging in behavior that shows just how much influence and control Diddy and his circle wield in these closed-off worlds. It's more than just a party. It's a display of dominance, money, and connections. Now, this brings us to the alleged footage Samuel L. Jackson supposedly leaked. According to the rumors, this video shows Steve Harvey Yes, the Steve Harvey, caught in the middle of one of these wild nights. If you're familiar with Harvey's public persona, this feels completely out of left field. Harvey has built his brand around being the wholesome, family man type, doling out relationship advice on his talk show and positioning himself as a role model. That would be enough to send shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. But what's in this footage? No one knows for sure, but based on past rumors about these parties, it's not hard to imagine the kind of things that might be on display. Maybe there are images or clips of Harvey getting a little too comfortable at one of these. Or perhaps the video shows him simply being present, which in itself would be damning. After all, just being caught at one of these parties, with their explicit nature, would raise eyebrows and cast serious doubt on the clean-cut image Harvey has carefully cultivated. And this is where the speculation begins. Was Harvey a willing participant in these wild nights, or was he just there because of his friendship with Diddy, not fully understanding the nature of the event? It's hard to say for sure, but if this video ever leaks, it could answer those questions. What's so shocking about this is that if this footage is real, it could be career-ending for Harvey. While Diddy's involvement in wild parties isn't exactly new, he's had his share of controversies over the years, Steve Harvey is a different story. Harvey has always been seen as a figure of respectability, a comedian and TV host who offers fatherly advice and family wisdom. He's built a brand on clean humor, family values, and relationship advice, making this potential exposure even more damaging. If the public were to see him in a setting that completely contradicts his moral persona, it could unravel everything he's worked for. Sponsors, networks, and fans would all be questioning whether they really know the real Steve Harvey. On the other hand, for Diddy, this video could simply confirm what many people have suspected for years. He's been walking a tightrope for a while now, with various legal battles and accusations already chipping away at his public image. 
A video like this wouldn't be the first time his name has been linked to wild parties or questionable behavior, but it would add fuel to the fire, especially if it showcases just how far these really go. It could turn the speculation into hard evidence that Diddy's private life is just as chaotic and controversial as the rumors suggest. So why would the public care about this video? Well, there's a certain voyeuristic fascination people have with watching their favorite stars fall from grace. There's something about seeing a celebrity who has spent years building up a squeaky clean image being caught in a scandal that captivates people. It's like peeling back the curtain and seeing the messy reality that lies beneath the Hollywood glitz. In the case of Steve Harvey, the shock value would be immense. This is a man who has preached family values and respect for years. For him to be involved in something so opposite to that, it would be the ultimate celebrity scandal. And let's be real, people love a good downfall story. The public has a long history of consuming gossip and scandals, especially when they involve high-profile figures like Harvey and Diddy. Whether it's out of curiosity, judgment, or just plain schadenfreude, this kind of footage would be shared, discussed, and dissected endlessly. In the world of social media, it wouldn't take long for this to blow up into a full-scale media frenzy with every news outlet, blog, and gossip site covering the story. It could be the kind of scandal that follows both Diddy and Harvey for the rest of their careers, tarnishing their reputations and changing how the world sees them. The Lori Harvey connection. Lori Harvey has been in the spotlight for a while now, and not just because she's Steve Harvey's daughter. This young model and socialite has a dating history that reads like a who's who of Hollywood and the music industry. But one relationship in particular made headlines for all the wrong reasons her romance with Diddy. The scandal surrounding their relationship didn't just come from their high-profile status, it was the glaring 27-year age gap that had everyone talking. Lori was 22 when she was spotted dating Diddy, who was 49 at the time. It wasn't long before the gossip mill kicked into high gear, with fans, critics, and media outlets all weighing in on the controversial pairing. Age gap relationships always stir the pot, but when you throw in the fact that Diddy had allegedly been close with Steve Harvey for years, it only added to the mess. Many people wondered how Steve, a man known for his strong opinions on relationships and parenting, could be okay with his young daughter dating someone nearly 30 years her senior, especially someone with Diddy's reputation. This wasn't just some ordinary relationship, Diddy has been known for his playboy image and has a past filled with rumors of questionable behavior. The public couldn't help but ask, was Steve Harvey turning a blind eye to his daughter's choices because of his friendship with Diddy? And then, just when things couldn't get any more complicated, rumors started swirling that Lori may have been involved with Diddy's son, Justin Combs, before dating Diddy himself. Talk about awkward. Although Lori has denied these claims, the public fascination with this alleged love triangle hasn't died down. People love a scandal, and the idea that Lori might have dated both father and son turned the situation into the kind of soap opera that gossip lovers dream of. Whether it's true or not, the mere rumor has been enough to keep Lori's name in the tabloids and fuel endless speculation about the dynamics between her, Diddy, and Justin. This is where Samuel L. Jackson allegedly comes into the picture. Word on the street is that Jackson wasn't just upset with Steve Harvey for allowing Lori to get involved with Diddy, but that he felt Harvey failed as a father by not stepping in sooner. Jackson has always been vocal about the importance of family, and he's not one to shy away from calling people out, especially when it comes to issues that hit close to home. For Jackson, who has raised his own daughter, Zoe, far from the media's glare, the idea that Steve Harvey could be so publicly supportive, or at least indifferent, about Lori's controversial relationship would likely strike a nerve. From Jackson's point of view, this wasn't just about a young woman making her own choices. It was about a father not stepping up to protect his daughter from what many would consider a predatory relationship.
After all, Diddy's past is filled with allegations of controlling behavior, and his much-publicized legal battles don't paint the picture of someone who's exactly harmless. Jackson, who's spoken before about the importance of strong male role models, might have seen this as a glaring failure on Steve Harvey's part. And given that Jackson isn't known for keeping quiet when he has something to say, it's not hard to believe he might have voiced these opinions to Harvey directly. But let's take a step back and look at the broader societal implications here. Lori Harvey's relationship with Diddy wasn't just about two people dating it became a lightning rod for discussions about power dynamics in age-gap relationships. When a 22-year-old woman dates a 49-year-old man, especially one as powerful and influential as Diddy, there's always going to be speculation about who holds the real power in that relationship. Was Lori, a young woman still building her career, in a position to make fully autonomous decisions, or was she influenced by Diddy's fame and wealth? Steve Harvey's complicated family dynamics and his relationship with Diddy. The public persona of Harvey as a wise, fatherly figure is only part of the story. Behind the scenes, Harvey's personal life is far more complicated and turbulent than many realize. He's been married three times, and his blended family has been the subject of public scrutiny, often casting doubt on whether the man who gives family advice has truly mastered the art of it himself. Harvey's first marriage was to Marsha Harvey, with whom he had three children. But as his career as a comedian started to take off, his marriage crumbled. He was on the road, chasing success, and his personal life began to suffer. Marsha was left to raise their children while Steve focused on building his empire. Their divorce in 1994 was reportedly caused by Steve's infidelity, a theme that would pop up again in his second marriage. His second wife, Mary Shackelford, also accused Harvey of cheating and mistreatment during their marriage. Their 2005 divorce was messy, with Mary even filing a lawsuit for $60 million, claiming emotional distress and financial damages. Though the case was dismissed, it was clear that Harvey's personal life was not as smooth as the polished image he presented on TV. Then came his third and current wife, Marjorie Harvey. Their marriage seemed like the ultimate Hollywood love story. Harvey took on Marjorie's children from her previous relationships and presented a united front as a happy, blended family. But Marjorie's past wasn't without its own complications. Before marrying Steve, she was linked to two men who were convicted dealers. Rumors have swirled for years that Marjorie was involved in his illegal activities, though she's never been charged. Marjorie's controversial past has led many to question how much influence she has over Steve and whether he has been more lenient in his parenting because of their relationship. After all, Marjorie has been at Steve's side through thick and thin, and together they've created a media empire that relies heavily on the image of a perfect, blended family. But beneath the surface, there are cracks in that image, particularly when it comes to Steve's daughter. Lori Harvey, and her relationship with Diddy. Steve and Diddy have been friends for years, and this long-standing relationship seems to have complicated things when it comes to Lori. Diddy, a music mogul with a notorious reputation for wild parties and a messy personal life, isn't exactly the kind of person you'd expect someone like Steve Harvey to approve of for his daughter. And yet, when Lori and Diddy's relationship made headlines, Steve appeared to stay quiet. Some speculate that their friendship made it difficult for Steve to intervene. Could Steve really criticize his friend when they've been so close for years, collaborating on various projects and moving in the same celebrity circles? The friendship between Diddy and Steve Harvey may have clouded Steve's judgment as a father. When the rumors of Lori's relationship with Diddy started to gain traction, many expected Steve to speak out. After all, he's never been shy about voicing his opinions on relationships. But instead, Steve seemed to give his tacit approval, even going so far as to vacation with Diddy, Lori, and Marjorie in Cabo San Lucas. The infamous Cabo trip made headlines and left many wondering if Steve was really okay with his daughter dating a man nearly 30 years her senior, or if he was simply trying to keep the peace within his family and with Diddy. 
To some, this trip felt like an endorsement of the relationship. If Steve was truly uncomfortable with the idea of his daughter dating Diddy, would he really go on vacation with them? The photos from that trip showed a family enjoying the sun, smiling for the cameras, and giving the impression that all was well. But behind the scenes, there were likely tensions brewing. Some fans speculate that Steve was stuck between a rock and a hard place, choosing between protecting his daughter or maintaining his friendship with Diddy, a powerful figure in the entertainment world. Marjorie's influence also plays a part in this narrative. With her controversial past and her ability to maintain a public image, despite her links to criminals, it's possible that Steve deferred to her judgment when it came to handling Lori's relationship with Diddy. After all, Marjorie has been in the spotlight for years, and perhaps Steve trusted her to navigate the tricky waters of celebrity relationships. But fans aren't so convinced. Many believe that Steve's silence speaks volumes, and that by not stepping in, he may have failed to guide Lori away from a relationship that was bound to be scrutinized. In the end, Steve Harvey's public persona as a family man has been called into question because of his handling, or lack thereof, of Lori's relationship with Diddy. While he's known for giving advice on how to raise strong, independent children, his actions in this situation seem to contradict the very values he preaches. Was Steve simply trying to protect his friendship with Diddy, or was he genuinely okay with the relationship? Whatever the case may be, the public perception of Steve Harvey has certainly shifted, and his complicated family dynamics are now under the microscope more than ever. Diddy's Troubled Legacy Diddy's public image has always been one of success and power. As a music mogul, he built an empire that spans across music, fashion, and business. But behind the scenes, his personal life has been filled with controversies, legal battles, and disturbing allegations that paint a much darker picture. Over the years, Diddy has faced multiple accusations of abuse from former partners, and these legal troubles have seriously damaged his reputation. One of the most high-profile cases came from singer Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit against Diddy in 2022. Cassie had been in a relationship with Diddy for over a decade. The allegations were shocking. The lawsuit garnered widespread media attention, with many people horrified by the disturbing nature of the claims. While Diddy vehemently denied the allegations, he ultimately chose to settle the lawsuit out of court. For many, the settlement felt like an admission of guilt, even though Diddy maintained his innocence. The terms of the settlement were kept confidential, but the damage to Diddy's public image was already done. The fact that he chose to settle rather than fight the accusations in court raised eyebrows, and many people began to see Diddy in a much darker light. Cassie's lawsuit had a effect across the entertainment industry, empowering other women to come forward with their own stories. In the wake of her case, four additional women filed lawsuits against Diddy, each recounting similar stories of emotional and physical abuse. These allegations ranged from controlling behavior to more severe accusations involving misconduct. The consistency of these stories was disturbing, and it only further damaged Diddy's already fragile reputation. So, where does Lori Harvey fit into all of this? During her time with Diddy, there were no public accusations of abuse, but fans can't help but wonder if she experienced any similar mistreatment. Lori has remained silent about her relationship with Diddy, and while silence doesn't necessarily indicate that something happened, it has raised questions. Could Lori's silence be out of fear of retaliation, or is she simply choosing to move on and not revisit the past? The power dynamics at play in Diddy and Lori's relationship can't be ignored. Diddy, as a wealthy and influential figure, held significant control, and some speculate that this power dynamic may have played a role in Lori's decision to stay quiet. It's also possible that Lori doesn't want to disrupt her father's friendship with Diddy. Steve Harvey and Diddy have been close for years, and Lori speaking out against Diddy could create a rift between the two men, something Lori might want to avoid for the sake of her family. 
There's also the question of public perception. Lori is no stranger to the spotlight, and she has carefully crafted an image of herself as a strong, independent woman. Admitting that she experienced mistreatment during her relationship with Diddy could complicate that image. It's possible that Lori doesn't want to be seen as a victim, especially when her personal brand revolves around empowerment and self-assurance. But it's important to consider that Lori's silence doesn't necessarily mean nothing happened. The fear of retaliation, both personally and professionally, can be overwhelming. And with Diddy's long history of controlling behavior, it's not hard to imagine that Lori might feel pressured to keep quiet. Diddy's legacy is now tainted by these numerous allegations, and his once glittering career has taken a serious hit. Even if he's ultimately cleared of wrongdoing in the remaining lawsuits, the damage to his reputation is already done. In the court of public opinion, Diddy has lost much of the goodwill he once enjoyed, and he's now seen as a figure shrouded in controversy. For Lori Harvey, the question remains whether she will ever speak out about her time with Diddy. If she does, it could have serious implications not just for her, but for her family as well. Steve Harvey's friendship with Diddy has already raised eyebrows, and if Lori were to come forward with any negative experiences, it could strain that relationship further. For now, Lori remains focused on her career and personal endeavors, seemingly unfazed by the swirling controversies. But the public can't help but wonder if there's more to the story than what's been revealed so far. Samuel L. Jackson's Parenting Verses Steve Harvey's Samuel L. Jackson and Steve Harvey are two of Hollywood's biggest names, both having built careers that have spanned decades, earned them immense wealth, and made them household names. But when it comes to how they've handled their personal lives, specifically their roles as fathers, their approaches couldn't be more different. Jackson has managed to keep his family life remarkably private, while Harvey's family, especially his daughter Lori, has frequently been splashed across tabloid headlines. This contrast between the two men's family dynamics raises questions about what it means to be a father in the public eye, and which approach, if any, is the right one. Despite his fame, Jackson has managed to keep his family, especially his daughter Zoe, out of the spotlight. Unlike many celebrity kids who grow up under the constant scrutiny of the media, Zoe Jackson has led a relatively quiet life. She chose to work behind the scenes as a producer, avoiding the kind of public attention that often comes with being the child of a celebrity. And this didn't happen by accident. Jackson and his wife, Latanya Richardson Jackson, have been married for over 40 years, and from the beginning, they made a conscious effort to protect their daughter from the chaos of Hollywood. In interviews, Jackson has often spoken about the importance of family and how he worked hard to ensure that his fame didn't negatively affect his daughter's upbringing. He's talked about how he wanted to provide a stable, grounded environment for Zoe, and part of that meant keeping her away from the tabloids and the often toxic world of celebrity culture. Jackson's approach has been praised by many as the ideal way to raise a child in the public eye shield them from the pressures of fame and let them find their own path. And it seems to have worked. Zoe Jackson has quietly built a successful career as a producer without the kind of drama that so often plagues celebrity offspring. On the other hand, you have Steve Harvey, whose family life has been anything but private. From his multiple marriages to the high-profile relationships of his daughter Lori, Harvey's family has been a constant fixture in the media. Lori, in particular, has been the subject of endless gossip, with her dating life making headlines time and again. Whether she's been linked to rapper Future, actor Michael B. Jordan, or, most controversially, Diddy, Lori's love life has become a point of public fascination. And through it all, Steve Harvey has largely stayed quiet, only occasionally commenting on his daughter's relationships. The contrast between Jackson and Harvey is stark. While Jackson worked to keep his daughter out of the limelight, Harvey's family has often seemed to embrace it, even if the attention hasn't always been positive. Some people see Harvey's openness about his blended family as refreshing, 
He's been open about the challenges of raising children from multiple marriages and has made no secret of his love for his family. In many ways, Harvey has positioned himself as a relatable figure, a man who's not perfect but is doing his best to navigate the complexities of family life. But others see Harvey's handling of his family, especially Lori, as a failure. There are those who believe that Harvey should have done more to protect his daughter from the scrutiny that comes with dating high-profile men, especially someone like Diddy, who has his own troubled history. Critics have accused Harvey of turning a blind eye to Lori's choices, either out of a desire to avoid conflict or because of his long-standing friendship with Diddy. In contrast, Jackson's approach is seen as more protective, with fans praising him for shielding Zoe from the kind of attention that has surrounded Lori. Fans have certainly taken sides when it comes to how they view Jackson and Harvey as fathers. For some, Jackson's decision to keep his family private represents the ideal way to raise a child in Hollywood. These fans argue that Jackson's approach has allowed his daughter to grow up without the pressure of living in her father's shadow, enabling her to build her own career without the baggage that often comes with being a celebrity's kid. On the flip side, some see Harvey's more public family life as proof that he's willing to put his family front and center, warts and all, and that's something to be admired. After all, life is messy, and Harvey's willingness to let the world see that is viewed by some as refreshingly honest. The debate over which approach is better, Jackson's protective shielding or Harvey's openness, ultimately comes down to personal preference. Some people value privacy and the idea that children should be kept out of the limelight as much as possible. Others appreciate transparency and the idea that showing the ups and downs of family life can be comforting for fans who are going through similar struggles. What's clear, though, is that both men's choices have shaped how the public views them, not just as celebrities, but as fathers. Fan speculation and media frenzy. When it comes to Hollywood scandals, nothing stirs up a frenzy quite like a juicy piece of gossip involving some of the biggest names in entertainment. The rumors surrounding Samuel L. Jackson, Steve Harvey, and Diddy have ignited a media firestorm, with fans and critics alike weighing in on the alleged drama. From Twitter threads to Instagram memes, the internet has been buzzing with speculation about the leaked video and Jackson's alleged comments about Harvey's parenting. And as is often the case with these types of scandals, public opinion is divided. On one side, you have fans who support Samuel L. Jackson's alleged criticism of Steve Harvey. These fans believe that Harvey has failed as a father by not stepping in to protect Lori from her controversial relationship with Diddy. They point to Jackson's own family life as proof that it's possible to raise a child in Hollywood without subjecting them to the kind of media circus that has surrounded Lori. For these fans, Jackson's alleged comments are seen as justified, a harsh but necessary wake-up call for Harvey. But not everyone sees it that way. There are plenty of people who think Jackson may be overstepping his bounds by criticizing another father's parenting choices. These fans argue that Lori Harvey is an adult, capable of making her own decisions, and that it's not Jackson's place to pass judgment on how Steve has raised her. After all, every family is different, and just because Jackson has chosen to keep his daughter out of the spotlight doesn't mean that Harvey's more public approach is wrong. In fact, some fans believe that Harvey's willingness to let Lori live her life on her own terms is a sign of his confidence in her independence, not a failure of his parenting. As with any scandal in the digital age, social media has played a massive role in spreading the rumors and fueling the controversy. Platforms like Twitter and Instagram have become ground zero for fan theories, with users posting everything from detailed breakdowns of the alleged video to memes poking fun at the situation. The speed at which these rumors have spread is a testament to the power of social media to turn a private issue into a public spectacle in a matter of hours. And once the internet gets a hold of a story like this, it's nearly impossible to control. The role of traditional media can't be overlooked either. 
News outlets, blogs, and gossip websites have been quick to jump on the story, further stoking the flames with headlines that are designed to grab attention and keep people clicking. The media frenzy surrounding this scandal has only added fuel to the fire, with every new detail or rumor being dissected and debated by fans and critics alike. In an age where clicks and views drive content, it's no surprise that the media has latched onto this story and is running with it for all it's worth. So, what happens if the video really is leaked? The potential fallout for Steve Harvey could be huge. Harvey has spent years building a brand around his family-friendly image, offering advice on relationships, parenting, and life in general. If a video surfaces showing him involved in something as wild as one of Diddy's infamous offs, it could shatter that image completely. Harvey's sponsors and networks may not want to associate with someone whose behavior contradicts the wholesome moral persona he spent so long cultivating. For Diddy, the fallout might be less severe. His reputation has already taken multiple hits over the years, and another scandal involving a wild party wouldn't exactly be a shock. But for Harvey, whose entire career is built on his ability to relate to everyday people and offer advice, this kind of scandal could be devastating. It's not just about what's in the video, it's about how it contrasts with the public image Harvey has worked so hard to maintain. At the end of the day, this scandal is a perfect example of how quickly rumors can spiral out of control in the digital age. Whether the video ever sees the light of day or not, the damage may already be done. Fans will continue to speculate, the media will continue to report, and Steve Harvey's carefully constructed public image may never be the same. Only time will tell what the true fallout of this scandal will be, but one thing's for sure. People will be talking about it for a long time. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.